We're going to go over how to do an internal jugular venous puncture. This is going to be a summary slash overview, um, and so it's going to go a little quickly. First things first, we need to scan. We're going to use a high frequency linear probe. We're going to put it on the neck in the region that we expect the vessels to be. We're going to see the carotid, which is the smaller pulsatile vessel. And then we're going to see the IJ, which is the larger, usually more lateral vessel. It should be compressible as all veins are. So when you uh, kind of push, it should compress. And this is going to be your target. So you can scan along the length, make sure there's no thrombus, that it's not occluded. Um, there should not be pulsatile flow. If there is, it's an artery. So once you've kind of confirmed that this is the IJ, you're going to scan as low as you can on the neck, go right above the bifurcation uh, with the subclavian, and make sure you do a, a low neck stick. You do not want to stick high on the neck. It is not preferable. So now once you have your target, you're going to take your pen, we're going to mark our expected needle entry point into the skin. Uh, once we've marked it with a pen, we can put the probe down and then we can numb up the subcutaneous tissues, make a nice uh, wheel with our buffered lidocaine and 25 gauge uh, needle that we have here. Uh, as that is working, we're going to make sure that our micropuncture kit is ready. We have our 21 gauge micropuncture needle, which is flushed. We have our uh, microcatheter, which is four French which is flushed. We have our microwire, and then we have the wire that's going to follow. This is actually an Amplatz wire. So a few things that we have to, of course, keep in mind that once we make the, the puncture with the micropuncture needle, only the 0 0.18 inch diameter micropuncture uh, microwire is going to be able to go through it, not the Amplatz. It's too big. This is 0 0.035 inches. So once you make the puncture, you put in the microwire, um, and then you have your microcatheter, which the, uh, the inner stylet will only allow the microwire to go through, not the thicker uh, Amplatz wire. Um, and then uh, once we take the stylet out though, then we can put in the Amplatz wire, which is how we'll finish. So now that the subcutaneous numbing has worked, what we're gonna do is again, where we've made our mark, is we're gonna make our dermatotomy so it's easy to put the needle in. Then we're gonna grab our ultrasound probe again. We're gonna grab our lidocaine again. Um, and we're going to go through the dermatotomy and numb up r until right outside the vessel to numb up our whole trajectory. Then we're going to set this down. We're going to grab our micropuncture, make sure the bevel is up, and then we're going to go in until we get um, blood return and we'll see it on the ultrasound. And then what we're going to do is once this is in, we're going to um, put our micro wire in and gain access make sure it goes smoothly. Once it's there, we'll take the needle out, we'll bury it in the sharps, then we'll put the micro, um, then we can set down our ultrasound, and then we can put in our micro catheter at this point, and then we can unscrew and take out both the micro wire and the inner stylet together, and then we'll take our Amplatz wire and put it into the catheter securing access, and that is how you get IJ access uh, rapidly.